Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm gonna to tell you all about Amazon's new Fire TV stick and their new Fire TV options. I think these are leading into some of those new entertainment experiences that Amazon has been planning for us for a while. The first big launch is the new Fire TV 4K Max, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a 4K edition of the Fire TV, and it looks to me like it's going to replace that previous 4K device. Amazon has upped some of the performance specs, and I think these are really important because they've upped the memory from one and one and a half gigabytes respectively to two gigabytes, bringing it in line with the Fire TV Cube. They've also improved the processor, giving us a new or a faster CPU and GPU speeds. It supports Dolby Atmos, and of course it supports 4K resolution, but I think the most important specification is one of the new ones, which is that it supports Wi-Fi 6. This will allow Amazon to go forward and give you better streaming and better gaming experiences, including with their Luna platform. They of course are selling a lot of accessory bundles with this, and one of those accessory bundles is the Luna controller. They of course have others that give you the option for wired connectivity as well, which is very important to many of you, but with Wi-Fi 6, I'm good. It of course can provide that Bluetooth 5.0 connection point, which allows you to connect some other accessories and do other things with this. But one of my favorite connectivity options is the home theater setup. And I've got an Echo Studio paired with an Echo Sub, and I'll add another Echo Studio here soon in order to create this home theater experience. Of course, the 4K Max is going to allow you to do that, but it also supports Dolby Atmos at 7.1 surround sound. So that would be if you had a separate home theater setup. But here's one of those big changes coming and something that Amazon mentioned here is that they will soon support the ability for the other HDMI inputs in your television to be used with your Fire TV stick and that home theater setup. This means consoles and your standard cable box could then go and use that home theater setup. This is huge. There's a new feature that's showing up here on these 4K sticks that I think is really going to be important to a lot of you. And we've been using notifications at the bottom of the screen from Amazon and their Miss A service. Well, it's gonna get a lot better than that because this has live picture in picture. Now that means that your compatible smart video doorbells or your compatible smart cameras, when, there's, when they're driving automations well, they're gonna show up in that little picture-in-picture -picture format on your screen. All of this on an Energy Star certified product, plus you're gonna get that Amazon Voice Assistant Remote, the new version, and the pricing is fairly close, or pretty close to being in line with the original Fire TV Stick 4K when it came out, although that pricing has been adjusted a little now, so it looks like this fits higher in the sequence or the lineup. Now, Amazon also released a number of new Fire TVs themselves, and what's different about these right off the bat is that they are actually Amazon-branded televisions. There are two series, and I think the one that most people are gonna focus on is called the Omni. Now, they range all the way from 43 inches all the way up to that 75 inches, and I don't think any of these are going to break the bank. You can purchase an accessory pack that includes a wall mount and of course a cover for your Amazon Fire TV remote that you get with this, but I actually don't think you're gonna use that remote a ton. That's because this Omni series of TVs supports Miss A's voice assistant in a hands-free mode, and there's even a little mute microphone button on the bottom of these TVs if you don't wanna use that, but this is going to give you voice control of your TV just using Amazon's voice assistant wake word, whichever one you've chosen at this point. In terms of the specifications around Dolby, well, there's Dolby Digital Plus in a pass-through version, and then there's Dolby Vision, but only on the larger two models. This is a full 4K UHD television that supports something that has only been buried in the Fire TV Cube, and only for a little while. 
That is the ability to two-way video call your contacts in the Miss A application. This will require you to connect a webcam to the USB uh, port that you're going to get on this TV, but this is something that you can add at any time and then video call all of those contacts directly from that screen and using Amazon's voice assistant to make that call. Of course, all of these televisions, including the next series I'm going to tell you about, support Amazon's home theater experience, but they also have a pair of 8 watt speakers on board. There are three HDMI 2.0 ports plus a single 2.1 HDMI with eARC port, that USB port I told you about, and an Ethernet one for direct connectivity. And something that I like to see here is that the bezel is fairly small. You're only losing half an inch to the overall display size to your screen size. So that's a big deal. And I think they look pretty good both sitting on a surface, which is what I'll probably do initially, or on a wall mount. The other series is called the 4 Series, and you don't lose a ton here. They're still 4K televisions, but you do lose the hands-free voice control, so you'll have to use that Amazon remote that you get, and you're also losing that two-way video calling feature. There's also no Dolby Vision support here, and the sizes are a little more modest as they stop at that 55-inch size. Of course, you're still getting the full Fire TV experience, and I think what's important here with these is that they are Amazon branded, and they're going to use a lot of those features that we haven't seen on some of the other Fire TVs that were from other manufacturers. You're also shaving a little off the price here with the 4 Series TV, so if you don't need those other features, you can look at this as kind of an everyday television. All of this leads into the new Amazon experiences that they are creating for us with their Echo devices and the Fire TV lineup. This is all part of the features that Amazon told us about in this video up on screen. So go check that out and you'll buy the right products and be ready for these new features. Otherwise, thanks for watching today and of course, don't hate, automate.